If you have had a colostomy or ileostomy, you will naturally be concerned about how it may affect your daily life and activities. This section highlights some of the common questions often raised by those who have undergone this form of surgery. People will not be able to tell if you have had a colostomy or ileostomy. Modern stoma bags are very discreet. You may find that your appetite is reduced and you may experience the feeling of being bloated after meals. This is usually temporary and will resolve itself as you become more active. Small frequent meals may help. After surgery, your stoma will take six to eight weeks to settle. During this time, it will reduce in size. Use the measuring guide provided to ensure pouches are cut to the right size and thus ensuring a good fit. Stitches may be visible. This is normal and these will dissolve or fall out over time. Unless you are advised otherwise, it will be safe to have a bath or shower two to three days after your operation. You may have the stoma bag on or off, whichever you prefer. Be reassured that water will not enter your stoma. The bowel is a one-way system. The body will not allow water to travel into your gut. If wearing your pouch, it is advisable to wear a filter cover. Use the wipes provided to clean the area of skin around the stoma. Do not use soap on this area and avoid using bath oils. Both of these can cause irritation. Usually a small amount of alcohol will not do any harm and may even improve your appetite. You may find that large quantities of beer or lager give you wind so it is best to drink these in moderation. If you are taking any medication, you are advised to consult your doctor to see if there will be any adverse side effects when these are mixed with alcohol. If you regularly take medicines not prescribed by the stoma team, check with the hospital or your GP about their suitability. For example, slow-release tablets and the contraceptive pill may be affected by the changed condition of your bowel. It may take six weeks before you are physically fit enough to perform mildly strenuous physical activity such as doing the household chores or driving. You should avoid the more extreme forms of physical activity such as mowing the lawn or carrying heavy shopping for approximately six to eight weeks after surgery. If your job requires you to perform heavy lifting, a special support belt can be used. You can ask your stoma care nurse about this. Once fully healed, you will be able to take up sporting exercise without difficulty. Swimming, dancing and other activities can all be practiced without the stoma hindering you. There is no specific guidance as to when you can resume normal sexual relations. You are the best guide. If you feel it is time to return to normal, then this is a strong indicator that it is safe to start again. The stoma will not prevent you from travelling abroad. Be prepared by taking plenty of supplies. Take drainable pouches even if you usually wear the clothes type in case of unexpected diarrhoea. Changing your pouch before you set out on a journey can help to give you peace of mind. If flying, changes in cabin pressure may cause you to produce more wind. So avoid fizzy drinks and wear a drainable appliance to help reduce the problem. You can request an aisle seat in order to obtain easy access to toilets. You can be provided with travel certificates which explain what a stoma is in various languages. Avoid wearing belts that are tight over your stoma.
it is possible for accidents to occur. If you're experiencing leakages, it may be that the template is the wrong size. It should fit snugly around your stoma. Use the measuring guide to help you create the right size hole in your stoma bags. To help you achieve a good seal between your skin and the bag, ensure you fully dry your skin after cleaning the stoma area. Avoid using powders or creams. Take your time to fit the pouch correctly, pressing the flange down firmly, ensuring no creases. Pancaking occurs when faeces collect at the top of the pouch instead of dropping down to the bottom. This normally occurs when there is little or no air in the pouch. A simple solution is to try putting a little baby oil into your pouch. Sore skin usually occurs when the template of the pouch is too large. Measuring the size of your stoma with the measuring device and cutting holes that are suitably sized for you can easily rectify this. You should ensure that the flange covers all areas of skin around your stoma. If your rectum has not been removed during the operation, you may still feel the need to open your bowels as normal. This is common and quite normal. If the sensation is particularly strong, sit on the toilet and don't strain. You may pass a jelly-like mucus or small amount of motion. Try to keep the skin around your anus clean and dry to prevent soreness. Rectal discomfort or pain can sometimes occur in some patients when their rectum has been removed. This is sometimes referred to as phantom rectum. Whilst pain or discomfort usually resolves spontaneously when the wound is healed, this may take as long as six months. If it continues, mention this at your next hospital visit or visit from the community stoma care nurse. A slight smear of blood on the gauze when cleaning is not uncommon and it is not a cause for alarm. You may be too rigorous when cleaning or it could be caused by a slight knock to the stoma. If you experience bleeding from inside your stoma, contact your GP or stoma care nurse at once. This is not normal and could indicate a problem. If your stoma suddenly changes colour, becoming dark or bluish, check to see if it is being restricted in any way. Check your template. If problems persist, contact your GP or stoma care nurse. Constipation may cause flatulence and discomfort. Taking extra fluids and foods high in fibre may help. Certain painkillers may sometimes cause constipation. Talk to your GP or stoma care nurse if you need help resolving this. If you are suffering from diarrhoea, it is important you drink fluids to replace those lost. If you think a certain food has affected you, leave it out of your diet for a few weeks and then gradually reintroduce it. Drainable pouches can be useful at this time to save you repeatedly changing your regular sealed bag. If your diarrhoea is frequent and severe, seek medical advice. Flatulence or gas can be a problem with colostomies and ileostomies. Experimenting and juggling your diet can help you find the causes. Some foods such as cabbage, beans, cauliflower and fizzy drinks are known culprits. 
Once you find the causes, try reducing the portions of these foods or exclude them from your diet. If you find that your stoma has stopped working for 12 hours with an ileostomy or 48 hours for a colostomy and you experience severe pains, feel or are being sick, consult your GP or stoma care nurse immediately to seek medical advice.